Hello. Today I'm gonna be explaining how to do vertex coloring in Mario 64. I'll explain a little bit of the microcode, but not all of it. I started off with making just a simple sample model that I purposely tried to not put many faces in it for an example. Otherwise, it'd be confusing. Anyhow, I loaded it in here. Import level. Would you like to open the curtain log? No. Meanwhile, on Toadstool, since I replaced Bomb on Battlefield, you would go to level, select scripts. By the way, this is. I forgot to say, this is under preferences, script dumps, level select scripts, Bomb on Battlefield. Whatever level you replace, you need to look for it. We're looking for the start of bank OE, and the 17 command will do that. There are more 17 commands down here. Here's OE. It's the fourth byte. So the ROM starting address of that RAM bank is right there. So what we need to do is open up hex editor, open up the ROM, and go to that address. Where is that? 18F00. Upon the start of the OE address, you'll find the normals, RGB values, the basic shading that the border uses, and then it's going to go through a bunch of texture data, so you can just scroll through that, which will be a bunch of random bytes. Once you find the giant column on the right side of FF, that's the vertex data, and these are the normals or RGB uh, parameter, I guess. It's just that area. But what we need to do first is enable vertex coloring down in the display list. Display list comes with commands that are all 8 bytes long. So what you need to do is these 03 commands need to go. So what I'm going to do is there also needs to command, be a command right after V7. So I'm going to copy all of this to insert room. There we go. And then I'll put another just random command to fill in the space. E7 is like you can put it anywhere. It's not gonna do anything. Now B7. I'm going to do it for back colon. O220, I believe. And what command needs to be entered here is B6. With the parameter of O2 or O220. If it's if you want no if you want colon, which means like if you look behind the face and there's invisibility, take out the 20s. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. But I'm gonna just tap them there, because why not? Means no calling. Now, when you do this, it will enable vertex coloring, but I'll go ahead and show you why you shouldn't do that. I never did check some. Anyhow, on our way to go to Bomb Battlefield. And yeah, this is the reason. Mario's Rainbow. That's the reason why we're not done yet. But Vertex Coloring, as you can see, was enabled. It's the reason it's all rainbow is because it enabled normals beforehand, so it's got all the normals values, which we are not going to use. Now, further down here, you need to insert some commands, and you need to make space. This is difficult for anyone new to Fast 3D to make some space. For some reason, Skelix's importer spams 04s even though it doesn't need to. 04 loads 
a big chunk of vertices. It loads 15 vertices, and the command or in the in order will load 15. And for some reason, it keeps doing it over and over again, even though it didn't even finish that. It only needs one of these addresses out of all these FOs. So what I need to do is copy all of this. Spans another 04 for no reason, so I'm going to copy that. And okay. Since that's done, there's only one more BF command. BF is a command to draw triangles out of uh, the vertices loaded. And it's by a multiple of OA, like the starting one right here starts at vertex. Let me try to point to it. Starts at vertex 0, 0, then it goes to vertex 2, which is OA, and then it goes to the next one plus OA, it's OX014, or X, OX14. Anyhow, not really important, but I'm just trying to explain it. So. Just making some room. 5A goes next to 78, I believe. Yeah, that's enough room. Now we have three extra commands, and you're going to need to use them here. It already has BF in there. These commands will disable the Rainbow Mario. It's like a re register of the cooling mode and multi texture properties. B6, and then with a parameter of 01. Next one would be FC, F, 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 e 793C. I do not have a very good memory. FE793C. B7, with a parameter of 0220. That should have done it. Yeah, okay. Mario's fixed and Vertex RGB is enabled. Now here's the tedious part that I hate. You go into the vertex data, and how do you find your triangle? You you hate yourself, that's how you do it. You, you have to find each triangle yourself. It's so annoying. That's why we need someone to program this. UFFFF, okay. Yeah. I'm just doing like random RGBs, and then you'll see why. Because I'm going to find these triangles, and I'm going to see their color values, and then it's it's how to spot each one. Yeah, okay. Take a look at that. I'm going to put my hex editor in a window mode. Here we got a red vertex. Oh, I see which one. So it's going to be like a darker green in the middle because this is a grass texture that I made grayscale. 0, 0, D9, I guess that would. Hmm. Yeah, I guess that would work. And then. Brighter green. Maybe not F. F. -F maybe like F. O. And then the green is just yeah the same thing. And now we have what is this yellow? Yeah, yellow. Zero zero D nine zero zero. Out. 
it's just a full bright one. Zero zero FO zero zero. And then the green one would be D9 once again. And we have more random ones. So you keep doing this over and over and over again. It's so boring. It's so great. 10 out of 10 IGN. Um, yep. This is how to waste your time. This is why I really wish we had a program. I cry myself to sleep because of this. So, now it's randomly going down there. And I don't think my grass got dark enough in the middle. I'll make that darker. I'll replace the V9s with something better. I'm trying to find... I've only seen these triangles right here. I guess it's all four of these right here. I'm going to make it fade to black at the bottom of this. I'll skip ahead because this is pretty boring. Back, I did the tedious part. All the vertices are filled with what they need to be filled with. So, that's just a quick look at the finished result. As you can see, it fades to black at the bottom and it's blue. The bluish bricks at the top. Dark and grass That's just the basics of it. And as you can see, it's so tedious that it's not really worth the work. If you've seen my island level, I did this all for hundreds of polygons. It's so boring. If we could have a programmer do this automatically with a 3D render, it would be beautiful. But that's as far as it goes for now. So, good luck with it. your Vertex RGB. I recommend only using it for low-poly things for now, until we get an editor. Thanks for watching.